Lolly and Tony was my mother and father's name. Working class heroes with no money and no fame. They worked their fingers to the bone and raised a family. Gave up their best years to my sister Julie and me. They met each other during supper at the Santa Cristo Fair. Down on Columbia Street, can't believe my mom was there. That night he told her, you don't know it yet, but someday you'll be my wife. I never heard anything more romantic in my life. But then Hitler set the world on fire And Tony joined the fray I know he didn't want to go But that's a price he had to pay But Lolly's letters They followed him And saved his sanity In the war-torn hell France and Germany Our mama loved us And she taught us how to pray And we recited all our prayers Every day When each night She said a rosary I think I could hear her cry Asking Jesus to send some money from the sky. Lolly taught us both to be the best that we were able. Don't drink with your mouth full. Get your elbows off the table. Did the zunish. Don't bite your fingernails. Get those farripas off your face. If you're wearing that thing, you're not going any place. But the best advice was some that my father gave. He said that face that's in your mirror when you shave is always looking back at you and he'll be watching till you die. So make sure that you can look him in the eye. Took me quite a while to get all that through my head. Between the two of them, an awful lot was being said But as the years pass I can see now Their truth was always plain They laid it all out For me to ascertain Children grow up, start their lives and move away. Leaving parents on their own and turning gray. She was 69 when leukemia took our mom away. 26 years gone, 
and I still miss her every day. Tony left to save months later. Now he's with Lolly all the time. No more trying to squeeze a dollar from a lonesome little dime. The things those people taught me will never fade away. Now you're getting smart. That's what my dad would say. People say it was a blessing. The Lord took him in his sleep. But me, I think we'll be awake when we finally make that leap. It's just something that we tell ourselves to whitewash our own pain. Cause once you cross that line, you don't come back again. When someone's broken, you wanna fix them. And when you can, it makes you cry. And the hardest thing you'll ever do is watch someone you love die. Every day you try to hold on and just do the best you can. To be there for them if they need to hold your hand. I don't mean stand there like a rock and never show your pain. Sometimes it's better to let go and make your feelings plain. The main thing is just to be there so they won't be alone. So they don't have to take that last step. They shouldn't have to make their last step. Don't let them take that last step. All their wrong.